Well, I finally got done modifying my good Nexus 7. This is the complete ready to go. This is what's going to wind up in my car tablet. Um, to my knowledge, it might be the only 8 pin Nexus 7 in existence. I don't know. But as you can see, four original Pogo connectors, side connectors and four of my own installation a couple little things i had to do um, to make this work and that thing likes to keep popping up so <clears throat> basically what i've done is i've on on the ones that i've installed these two wires that snake up through you can see them start there they snake down underneath the battery wires those are for my remote switch. So um, just like I showed in my other video, my uh, power switch still works and I will have an external switch once this is slid into the dock um, to operate my screen, restart the tablet, whatever I got to do really. Um, the other two wires right here are and this is what's going to set this apart from some of the other modifications that I've seen. Um, these are data wires, uh, data plus, data negative. Um, so on these four pins, I have switch, switch, data negative, data plus. Down here on the four originals, this used to be ground, audio, and power, dock power. What this is now is ground because that I actually left this one alone because that is a chassis ground. Uh, it's a good ground, so I didn't bother messing with that at all. Um, this pin is now the is now linked to the ID pin. This pin is empty, and this pin is five volt from the USB port. What I'm going to be able to do is. In my little custom car dock is I'm going to mimic a OTG cable using these pogo connectors side connectors um, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail other than that at the moment because I haven't fully tested it I know it works I, I've uh, you know man this thing does not stay down I know it works uh, but I haven't even rooted this thing I don't have Timmer's USB ROM on here. I don't really, I can't really fully test it yet. So um, that's about it. And I know there was some skepticism about using uh, Pogo uh, pins, spring loaded pins in a car application. I can kind of see where there'd be some concern with vibrations and things like that. Um, here's the original. This is the original uh, dock that I made, and I was going to, you know, I slit, slide the tablet in there, mount the, the pins in the bottom. This thing, I made it way too tight. It, I can't, you can hardly slide it in and out, so I might actually use that for my other car. Um, this one is the one I'm currently working on. Um, you'll see I already have um, four pins in. Come on, focus. Focus a little bit. And the, uh, the thickness of this ABS sheet that I used to make this ring is actually perfect for the pins that I found. In any case, my point uh, with this, starting with this, was um, when I slide the tablet in here, I get, get, I get really good contact with these pins. These pins are 3 amp max, by the way. So they should be able to transfer. This should not be a bottleneck for me as far as power or data. Um, when the tablet is fully seated... It's pressure fit. I mean, it, it slides in and out on this one because I made this this a little bit, this ring a little bit thicker. Um, it slides in and out reasonably, but you could shake it like this and it's not going to slide out. So I don't really see it being a problem in the car. Uh, now that I have my custom pins drilled, which, by the way, uh, I think I did a much better job this time. Um, there's the originals, and if you come down, there's mine. Um, tried to put a little bit of chamfer on the 
the holes. Come on, just focus. I tried to put a little bit of chamfer on the holes. Um, but it, because this is painted silver, I didn't want to make the holes stand out. So I just kind of left, I put a little bit and left it. How I was able to drill those holes, I guess I can clue you in on that. Um, I actually made a drill guide and I have no idea where that is at the moment. Yeah, I'm not sure where I stuck that. But basically, I made it out of um, quarter inch square, uh, like key stock material for like a keyway. And oh, here it is. And I uh, precision drilled those holes at the size and spacing that I wanted. And then, um, you know, I just double sided taped it, taped this down, got this positioned where I wanted it and then just used my pin vise with appropriate size drill bits to drill my holes. Same way I did that with the dock there, I just used this. This made all the difference in the world because I was able to keep them straight and um, they're gonna line up really nice. So now that I have these holes and now that I'm done all my soldering, um, I might put a dab of hot glue or something to hold that, hold that wire. Doesn't matter, the, uh, the cover fits so tight on the back it won't move. Now that I have those holes, I'm going to be able to uh, drill the second set of holes in my new rig here and finish putting that together because I have the front piece to glue on, which I realized that was my mistake with this one is I really had no way of accurately locating the holes once I closed it in. So uh, I'm going to drill my holes, insert my pins, and then this thing, and then I'm going to wire up the bottom. Um, I have some, I actually found some really heavy a really heavy USB cable. Uh, it was surprising. Power wires are. Oh, bear with me. Twenty gauge. So previously, the biggest I found was uh, twenty eight, twenty six. So twenty eight on the data, twenty six on the power. I have one that's twenty eight, twenty four, and then I just happened to find this one. And this is a monster cable. And this is going to be my main, um, my main like power cable. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure how I'm going to do the Y connection. I might just make another, um, basically make, make my Y connection there. But uh, since I'm kind of wiring everything, I might just wire the hub straight into that versus putting another USB port. But anyway, that thing, I'm going to cut the, the one end off of that and wire it directly to this dock per se um so that's going to be kind of my wiring so that's where i'm at uh next the next major step is to try to root this thing and get it to match uh it's been a it's been a couple months since i messed with the rooting and the adb and all that crap so i'm not sure if i'm gonna <laughs> remember all that but it's time to definitely get serious about mounting next so we'll um i'll give you a little sneak peek here at my bezel, how my bezel looks right now. You can see that filler panel. And I'll show you what that's all about and probably in an, in an upcoming video. It's looking fairly, like a little bubble there. It's looking fairly reasonable. I think it's gonna work. So um, t today I had this crazy I was just kind of driving home and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna mount this thing in that bezel and not take it out but i'm in too deep now i got all this set up i got a nice dock made so i'm gonna forge on thanks for watching